Hello everyone, in this video I am sharing how to install firmware for Godox X1T flash trigger. This firmware update supports only Windows PC and not for Mac OS. First go to Godox.com then go to download page. Before downloading firmware, firmware upgrade software should be downloaded and installed in your Windows PC. For Fuji cameras, download Godox G2 firmware upgrade software. This same software also applicable to Panasonic and Olympus cameras. For Sony, Nikon and Canon, download Godox G1. Here I am downloading Godox G2 for my Fuji camera. Now download it started. Then download firmware for X1TA. Now you can see downloaded folder contain two files with .rar extension. To extract .rar file format, rar file extractor application is required. If you don't have application, then search WinRAR in Google. WinRAR.com. The link is given in the description. You can refer that. Now select your language based on your Windows architecture type 64 bit or 32 bit. Based on that, you can download it. Here I'm downloading 64 bit application. You can purchase or you can download as a trial version. Trial version working as a free version actually. Now WinRAR application started download. Run this executable and start installing. Click OK to finish. Right click the Godax firmware update software. Extract to separate folder. Now that file is extracted. The same way you can extract the firmware file too as a separate folder. Now you can see .dfu is the firmware extension file. Install Godax G2 application in your PC. Click yes. Next. Agree. Next. Okay. Now connect X1T wireless trigger to your computer. Before that we can check the current version number by pressing mode button and turn on wireless trigger. You can see version number 3. The latest version number is 4. Switch off the wireless trigger. Remove a battery. Connect using micro USB cable to USB cable. Run Godox G2 application. The connected device is displayed here. Now select the firmware file which we downloaded earlier. Then start upgrade. Firmware updated successfully. Quit the application and disconnect 20 trigger from laptop. Press mode button and turn on. Now latest firmware version number 4 is displayed. Thank you for watching my first YouTube video.